directors. I think Doc's worse. I think Doc's bottom five. Ah, it's so hard. It's so hard to choose. I think Doc's got sauce. I hate to say it. I think that Bacon might be like the highest placing Doc in North America. In North and he's America, still like certainly. the best he's done is 17th. Yeah, and that's the thing is like he's crazy. Bacon literally has like the upset potential to, to do this against top players, but right now he's against Peanut. And uh, Peanut, in, I guess, is a top player. But I mean, hey, these two guys, they low tier heroes, respect. And the game recognized game, you know what I mean? That they do, at least until one of these players decides, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a top tier. But I don't <laughs> think we're gonna quite see that here. Oh, yeah. and we may not need to already 100% on Peanut, very nearly. That down tilt, first one doesn't work, the second one will. That might be the most meaningful buff for this character in Dr. Mario. Down tilt yep. being like a consistent combo move and a consistent like kill confirm is insane. Right. And I mean, I, I, it's on paper, it's hard to deny Doc's strengths, right? Pill is an amazing projectile. You have a great cape that actually works on ledge. You have so many things like down tilt, back air, they're up B, like it, it really works out in his favor on paper. Well, the frame gate is solid, and the, the the moves themselves are solid. Neutral air is actually super slept on, but the problem is that, like his his intangibles, his weight, his air speed, his ground speed, those are the problems. Right. Yeah, definitely. When it comes down to the character stats, he is lacking. But hey, Peanut, one of the best ground speeds in the game, and for good reason. This character is a grounded menace. Still, if your feet aren't on the ground, you're not really able to utilize those uh those strengths. I love Dr. Mario. Just go ahead and fire off the up smash two times in a row. If the first you do not succeed, try, try again. Yeah, definitely. Crack the neck there with the, the reach or, with the reach over uh, with the up smash oh, and definitely. then gets it. Now we've got Bacon trying to finish the job here. Brings Peanut to last stock. But we've got a KO punch about halfway charged right now. It's only a matter of time before it comes back into play. And you can only use one here. What's the option? Great air dodge right there from Bacon. Lands the forward air. That's one of those that we don't see too much nowadays, given that there's nothing the combos into it consistently. Uh, it's over. Yeah, it's nothing there. Nothing to do there. Peanut loses his one and final KO punch, pretty much. I mean, I don't think we'll get another one. That was uh, really, really super, super greedy from Bacon to throw himself off stage, and then from Peanut to immediately, like, <laughs> miss the punish afterwards. Oh, no. And now he's really going for it. All of that tornado on shield. Really unsafe. Peanut's going to be looking for more here. Good roll read. Reads it again. Goes for the F-tilt on reverse. I'm consistently surprised by his reaction speed. Like, he's, I mean, he's, he's been in bad spots to punish a couple of these moves, okay, but he still gets the punish. And now he's just about drawing it even, giving Little Max kill power here. Okay, that's going to do it, though. I mean, I, I like that he went for it. I respect the option. Still, it was a little bit greedy. I think he, I think he would have been better served to like wait half a second and then see what happens. Again, it's like it's that reaction speed. He's got that young man reaction speed. You are so quick with it. And I mean, yeah, it really is paying off. But you gotta go ahead and learn the first lesson of the sweet science of boxing. If you go ahead and toss out your haymaker and miss, you may very well find yourself on the receiving end of your opponents. And that's exactly what we yeah. saw right there. Peanut went for the killing blow and Bacon more than happy to not miss his bitch. Very true, very true. So, sticking with a long stage here in PS2. A lot of shield pressure off the rip, but Peanut going to make Bacon sweat a little bit, but I like the di I like the discipline. He's not afraid to hold that shield, but, I mean, he might come back to bite you if he's looking for one of those shield poppers. Double he smash is. attack using the armor right there. Aggressive up air to get back from st to center stage, but... Oop. Yeah, that'll do it right there. Getting that down tilt into the KO punch secures the stock for Peanut. Ooh, and then uses the armor to hit that tail end of the tornado. Very nice stuff. And hey, it's the roll reads uh, that he's looking for, and he's getting them right now, Scabs. So much damage nerf. It really does feel as though the second that Peanut gets that one jab, it's just body blow central. Ooh, there I know. Just one option, too many, and yep, down tilt leads to more here. Bacon just struggling to find any conversions. That's a that's nice catch. That's disjointed enough? I guess so. Wow, that's silly. Boots beat gloves. Apparently, this man's loafers must be made out of steel. I <laughs> guess so. Okay. Oh, what? What, what, what on earth was that? Tarnation. 
I don't know what that was. <laughs> but does get the uh, up tilt into the up E. So Jeez. platform tech chase situations are never going to go your way against Peanut. It just feels like he is so quick and able to react to just about every option on that plat. Absolutely. This guy is made of pure pressure. And Bacon is now bearing He's down. He's Punch. Do it. Oh, he didn't go for it. He didn't trust. I mean, yeah, the, the, the jump from ledge KO punch is so predictable. It's so predictable. But Peanut was, excuse me, uh, Bacon was just standing there, so Peanut I, could easily have taken advantage. I know, that's true. I, that's true, that's true. But Bacon could have air dodged, maybe something like that. I don't know. Either way, he's finding his, himself a stock here with one of those lead ins on ledge. And again, that uppy doing mad work. Trading with the neutral layer there, it looked like so. And then just that Foxtrot. Oh my god, putting. Bacon in such an awkward spot. Does manage to make it back, though. Can he actually get back to center stage, though? Peanut is oh. sticking under the platform with a barrage of nice. up tilts. Forces the tech situation. Gets oh. the get up attack, but it's that it. is still covered. Peanuts. Beautiful. I, I mean, I talked about it once. I'll talk about it again. The tech chase prowess unmatched. And it's just the patience. Like, he just stands there with his back to you and just like, are you going to press a button or something? And then he just does. He's like, I'm shielding that. I'm getting the up tilt. I'm getting that up B. He gets that combo, right? He'd gone for it a couple times. He looked, got, for the, got the up tilt. It was the wrong angle. He wasn't able to convert. It now just, he gets it. It feels as though... He can cover every option right there, but he has the patience to wait to cover every option. Like, Bacon actually delayed the get-up attack right there. Still did not delay it enough because Pino was ready. Mans is playing with the tail end of the flu, and he is still rocking out right now in bracket and loser's quarters, bringing it to a game apiece. Peanut fighting back against Bacon. And now with full stage control here, we'll have to see. Can he act again the platform situation, but this time unable to land that blow. Okay. Both of them are able to get so yeah, much here at ledge. You can't sit there that long because that down tilt is just such a good scoop, and it usually leads to a killing strike. Yeah, these ledge interactions have been absolutely crucial for both players. Like they're both able to really challenge each other, uh, and there's been so much patience on ledge and not enough patience on stage. I find from Bacon. Gotta respect the KO punch. He just did not right there. Does get the down throw into the cyclone off stage now. Is Peanut unable to go ahead and get the tilts or the connections there at all? The counter, good delay. Wow. Oh my god, right in his face, and then just more damage. Air Mac coming in for some for some damage, I guess. One thing we're learning in this match is that penicillin is no match for punches. True. Like punches just, right through the pill. Exactly. Uh-oh. And then we've got KO Punch on lock. Just looking for something here. Not over yet. He's just gonna wait for it, and then it's just going to be another game. Peanut going up two to one. This is looking pretty crazy. Bacon, I felt like he was playing such a good neutral in the first game. What happened? Um, momentum happens. Well, I mean, anytime you get more than one KO punch in a game, it's very it. unlikely to end in your defeat. It just feel, felt as though, I mean, it turns out a move that kills people at 30 and can't be shielded is a good move. Absolutely. And uh, really, a lot of characters, what they do is that um, when Peanut first gets KO Punch, there's a period, like four second period, where he cannot have it knocked out of him. And a lot of other characters will use their speed to get the heck away from Mac or to force him into disadvantage so that you can just wait out that timer and interrupt the KO Punch. Bacon just cannot do that. Like, his character is not fast enough to escape this Max pressure. Right. Yeah, so now we're going to small battlefield, shortening the stage a little bit to give us a, a more of a fighting chance here against this character. I mean, you really got to do uh, the work here to make this character. Get on, like, send them off stage, put them in the dirt, do what you gotta do. But right now, it's just Bacon kind of like running in, making, I think, some some key mistakes. We are gonna get the back throw though, getching that roll with the grab. And unable to trade with the side B. Peanut side B is just, haven't really nice. been challenged as well. Again, the platform, man, it just feels so crazy that he's able to get that every single time. I kind of feel like perhaps Bacon might have wanted to change the scenery a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's, I've never thought that, like, maybe you should take away the platforms and give Mac FD. Maybe that would help. I'm just kidding. Don't actually do that. But, hey, I mean, Bacon is still, like, forced back against the wall, even when he's, like, in advantage state. It feels like he's just not able to get anything. He's hemorrhaging. He's still able to get a, uh, somewhat of a lead here. But the, the KO punch, can we do anything here? No gazelle punch instead. Okay. There we go, getting that knocked out with the back air, solid safe option, oh. unable to land that up B. So that means that we are in an awkward spot, but that time the up B cutting through Peanut's attempted to ledge trap. Yeah, I mean, Peanut went off stage with an aerial. I, mean, I don't know, and now he's poking Bacon Shield. Respect yeah, it. Don't do that. This is basically just a game and watch the kills. <laughs> 
Definitely. Once you're above 40, just, just let her rip. Exactly. You don't need a brain to hit that button. It's a big button, the red one. Though that was not true. Bacon got hit by it anyway. That's not that's not looking good. Got to be aware of the things and, be, and get out of those those upbeat combos and setups before they occur. Is it just me or does it feel like, okay, what? He, he did it. It clanked with something, so he just did it again immediately. Okay. Peanut is like the most intelligent masher I've ever seen. He just knows when to hit those buttons. Like, he knows when he can actually force a trade and then when to just not get pressured and toss it out again. He has the confidence for it. Now you sound like ZD. And right now, I mean, I think Bacon is looking for more here, going to get a little bit, but that's not the big hit that you need, and that's not going to put Peanut in the dirt. 150% and you can't kill Mac. You've got to find something here because that's fully powered rage, Mac. Get him out of here, please, for your own safety. Thank you. Oh! If that was a forward smash, that would have connected and killed. <laughs> he could have just probably back thrown at center stage and might have killed. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. That'll just do. Toss out that forward smash when your opponent's on the platform. Optimistic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon getting another game on the board. It's not over just yet. He's having to take a sigh of relief. Game five again. It feels like these matches are always Ooh. so close, Nerf. Certainly, certainly. And they're getting even closer now, Scavs. I think... I, I'm hard pressed to think about what this game five is going to look like. What's the stage counterpick, do you think? Battlefield? I, I genuinely don't know. No, yeah. small battlefield. I, small battlefield? Yeah, I have the big platforms again. Yeah, so we're sticking with small. Okay. Yeah, battlefield probably would have been banned by, uh, by Bacon. I would imagine, if he knows. Yeah, if, he, if he knows, if he knows that Peanut likes that stage. In this yeah. region, he knows. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's of course, Dr. Mario, not regular Mario. So it's like, yeah, Battlefield doesn't really benefit you that much. So Very important here to take away a great resource in the top platform there for Peanut. Sticking with small Battlefield, still a lot can be done here for the little Mac main. Parry into the immediate forward tilt, solid damage at low percent. And now Peanut trying to go ahead and use that movement to open up Bacon trying to catch him to land a little bit inappropriately and then finally gets the up air unsafe on shield. Easy up on his end. I mean, this is Peanut also reminding Bacon that, like, I can't touch your shield, but you can't really touch mine either. Yeah, I mean, it does feel as though Bacon's wearing, like, them size 17 Gucci loafers here because those forward tilts <laughs> oh have been God. so perfectly spaced. Talk about perfectly spaced, too. That KO punch, I felt like it was just the bare tip of that. Boxing glove. Yeah, I think we just scuffed the loafers right now. <laughs> like I <laughs> felt like that was that was something you just better go go, go back to the to the uh, the, the repair store. Okay, we got up smashes though, two stocks a piece. Bacon is uh, still going to be able to get one of those Mario Bros up smashes well into effect. Yeah. Doc Mario may not be a little bit lower on the tier list, but you definitely have to respect him for having a uh, one of the Mario Cast's patented up smashes. Ooh. Don't die from that. Good DI, yep, yep. Gonna have to go for it. No, he loses the KO punch, and then now he's just gonna Take get medicine. sniped into oblivion. Take your medicine! He sits back in his chair and recognizes how crucial in a game five, in a tense situation like this, you just watched all of your momentum peter out. Can you maintain, or is no, it can. over? Hill into Cyclone, Bacon busting out the entire prescription pad right there. Oh my god, and that's 